Hello, hello, chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are having a good Wednesday and or good morning or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's noon, but it's still early for me. I got like no sleep last night. Don't know why. Legitimately don't know why. Just could not fall asleep for whatever reason. So I'm running off like a few hours, maybe less of sleep. So we're good. Uh, and because of that, I forgot to load the game. <laughs> I was sitting here watching videos and kind of just like zoned out like I need to just, you know, wait for stream. Even though really if I wanted to, it probably could have started a little bit earlier. But yeah, so let's, uh, I'll, I can show you guys how long it takes to load these things for some reason. Uh, as we get ready. Um, but hi, welcome. Uh, by the way, if you're here right now, th thanks uh, for probably having notifications turned on. Uh, I appreciate you. That's actually pretty poggers. <laughs> of you to uh have notifications turned on and i appreciate it or if you're watching this point right now hey you're probably on the youtube vod channel maybe uh i appreciate you too um thank you for watching these uh videos and choosing to watch me and possibly come over to twitch and watch me live if you want to that's uh it's in the description or should be at least um this city normally loads a little bit faster because it's not as big as the other city, uh, New Westwood, that we've been doing. But we are back in Los Andar, which is our fully walkable green city. Um, I have a few plans of what I want to do. I think I have gotten to the point that I've proven that like the walkability, the pedestrianized area, whatever, and the greenness can work. So I don't really know if this is really necessarily a challenge anymore. It's more just like, I guess making of this city um just nice and better is really what we're doing right now I turn on the music a bit. Uh, so i have a couple ideas of what i wanted to do to expand it but uh we'll see how far we get today the uh, one thing that i want to try to start doing because i think we start unlocking the things if i remember correctly is i'm going to try to start uh cleaning up the lake today <laughs> since it turned into a, a, a shit lake, <laughs> essentially. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna hopefully buy and expand the city to the points where we can move our sewage somewhere else. Um, uh, sewage management to probably like, there's a river somewhat nearby, so we're gonna be moving the uh, waste management, I guess. Sounds better than sewage man management. I don't know, sewage. Sewage is a bleh word, very waste, I feel like. Uh, and then we're gonna be getting, I think, fresh water outlets or whatever, like the little things that pour in new water in there to get the like water circulating in the lake. And then we're also going to uh, add in all those like um, water cleaners that we got. Depends, uh, I need to remember, I don't have as much money <laughs> as I do uh, in the other saves. The other thing that we do have, which who knows, this may or may not break the save, which will be very annoying if it does. Uh, I did add in like three or four different new mods um, in the other city. Um, so we have like a landscape painting tool. We have really the only thing that's gonna be like affecting us. But the landscape painting tool and all that kind of tools will give us options for um, like painting in sand, uh, painting trees and like clusters and stuff. Uh, landscaping a little bit easier or a little bit harder because it changes the landscaping thing uh tool <laughs> that's a little bit annoying i don't know it was, it was laggy in my other city but the uh, landscape has been laggy in my other city for a while now ever since it got a little bit bigger uh but yeah if you haven't checked out the other city uh every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern standard time uh, on twitch we stream um the new westwood city which is just a normal city it's on a map that looks like it's based off of new york i don't know if it's actually new york it's a base game map uh it's one of the dlcs uh but i'm pretty proud of that city and it's actually starting to look pretty pretty good uh oh it's been looking pretty good but i'm proud of it so if you are enjoying the city skylines content check that out too if you're not watching it live uh just watch it like on um on the youtube bot channel uh, those will be technically coming out every Thursday at noon, I think noon, on the VOD channel, if you want to keep up with that. Uh, yeah, 
It is a freaking long load time. It's like a five minute load time. A little bit longer for a new Westwood. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because my computer's getting older or what. Because my uh, city saves used to not like take this long to load at all. Um, gosh, this computer is now like five years old. It doesn't have bad hardware or anything like that, but it is older. It's getting older and more worn out, and I've <laughs> used this out of this computer. I have something in my right eye, I think. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah. Uh... Anyways. <laughs> still not loaded in. The one thing I wish I could still somehow figure out how to change on this map is I don't get why it's so like dark and like foggy looking all the time. I'm assuming it might just be like part of the map theme or something or part of like specifically this map, but I don't know. Kind of annoying to be honest. Yeah. I keep on forgetting to do this, but I'll do it now since I have time. But we are listening to Stomp's playlist again on YouTube uh, for the background music. Uh, one thing that is somewhat unfortunate uh, is even though it is no copyright music, it is one of those ones that technically copyrights you. Uh, most of the songs are. Some of them actually work, but it says no copyright. Uh, you actually are supposed to like put uh, certain things in your description and then, also, then you're supposed to uh, uh da, 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 like email them or something i don't know um so it's not really fully no copyright music that these are however i don't monetize at all so it's basically okay to, if i do, do that i think i don't know i don't understand how youtube works nowadays anymore but we're listening to pink sky music emoji chill lo-fi music to study 2022 music emoji lo-fi hip-hop no copyright chill hop <laughs> <laughs> number 227 and the main reason why we're listening to these people not saying that they're all bad songs they do get a little bit repetitive sometimes but um the main reason we're listening to this is because um this is like the only thing that shows up when you search or like the first thing that shows up when you search uh you know copyright music anyway this is the city uh last time which is looking pretty good, actually, I feel like. Uh, but last time, what did we work on last time? Uh, let me also get the night out of here. Uh, da, 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 gameplay, use of daylight, cycle. See, why is it always like, it's always like smoggy and foggy. I don't know why. I also want to potentially try to, nah, I'm not gonna change that. I was gonna say change the, like the light. But, this is the city, ignore some of the abandoned buildings and stuff like that. Um, it's all, mostly all pedestrian uh, streets and walkable. We have, it's a fire truck I guess, uh, but we have trolleys and trams going throughout the city, I guess not over here, uh, over here, that goes throughout the city. Dude, it's very laggy today. It likes to be laggy sometimes. But we have a monorail system because I'm complicated. It'd probably have been a lot easier if I just did a subway system, to be honest. But I barely ever use the monorail, so I wanted to like commit to the monorail. But essentially, the idea of this city is to make it as walkable and only walkable as possible, and trying to cut down on traffic and anything like that. So we obviously need some actual like. Uh, roads and stuff for this to function um, so we have these roundabouts into the entrances essentially to the city uh, or at least the busy uh, entrances but if the um, citizens don't want to use like cars and stuff we do have a monorail that goes to every single entrance in the city uh, and also even the um, <laughs> this is where the worst traffic is but also the uh, industrial zone over here and uh, this is where the city started and is the main area uh, that we started with. But yeah, the idea is to try to just cut down as much emissions and make it as walkable as possible. 
uh, and hopefully cut down the traffic. The thing that we found out and tested last time, other than adding some new monorails and stuff like that, is apparently, apparently, okay, so that's, that's the city services, but apparently you can actually have industry on walkable roads, but it, to me, it doesn't make that much sense. <laughs> Honestly, if we switch it all over, it might cut down a lot on traffic uh, because everything would be going to like the warehouse that storage container thing. But it, look at this. It's desolate. There's no, like theoretically, all of these things are just being, which I know this is how this in the city it technically works with pedestrians. But all of these goods are being teleported to here. Not that many like trucks or cars are leaving here. So I don't know if this like doesn't work or it does work or like cuts down traffic or what the heck that'll actually do. But uh, I thought you couldn't make industry on walkable roads, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> um, anyways, though, we also the other thing I think that we did last time was add on this little like office uh, and uh, commercial area over here. Um, but the plan for today is like I said, hopefully getting this starting to clean up, which we kind of already did, but like actually getting cleaned up, cleaned up. Uh, and then also like building up on top of here, I want to get a, uh, cause I barely, I don't think I've ever used this actually in my gameplays. I think it'd be really cool just to get a, um, what is it called? A cable car up to here when the city expands up that way. Also, I didn't realize how far away no, wait, that's actually, I think that's going to be the next place that we can buy. But we need to expand the city at first. What are you guys complaining about? Not enough buyers. Okay, don't worry, we will get that. Let's re destroy some of these places real quick. I'll just get more buyers. Did I finally get rid of the one? Unfortunately, or was it this one? Yeah, I did. Unfortunately, one of the viewers' uh, buildings that was historical got abandoned, which I kind of hoped that, which I guess this would be hacked, but I was kind of hoping that historical buildings don't uh, dezone, essentially. But apparently they do dezone. Okay. Anyways, well, let's get our blue stone streets. I think that's what this is. Yeah. And continue growing out over this way. Um, no, I really, not to use blue stone. Do we use cobblestone? What the fuck? Oh, I never clicked blue stone. Wild. <laughs> My brain like broke for a second. <laughs> Cause I'm like, that's not blue. And arguably blue stone isn't really that blue either. It's more like gray. And I kind of hate that I'm doing a grid here. I, like, you don't really need to do a grid with like walkable cities. This is more of like walk wherever, but the grid's most the most efficient, you know, shape for a city. So you just kind of fall into doing a grid. We're gonna get some more high density out here, but it's gonna go down to the highway actually be lower density. Our sewage treatment and everything is not that great. We can start to try to do some efforts of cleaning up. Uh, we'll wait a little bit more until we have a little bit more money. Did I ever raise taxes in the city? All oh, the citizens in the city start panicking. Ah, shit, he realized. He didn't raise the taxes. I'm the squeeze you of every single money. Oh no, I did. You guys are lucky. You're already being squeezed as much as you can. No, <laughs> no taxes. All right, so what we're gonna do is um, start to get our cleaning efforts going over here, which will entail, uh, I think I have the money for this. How much do they cost? I'm so used to because my other city has like five million dollars reserves and is just making the freaking bank. Okay, yeah, that's not that expensive. All right. Um, we will pause real quick. Get rid of all of these. We 
and get cleaner ones at least going in here so we're not polluting the lake. I want to get this started as soon as possible just so like uh, we can get it cleaned sooner and maybe in the stream. So these are still sewage but they they are cleaner with what they expel. That might be enough. Eventually I will rework the whole water system and stuff because I don't just want to have these towers going this way. Plus we might not keep um, the windmills and stuff like that. I want this lake to be very clean and like nothing on it other than like, you know, some docks and stuff like that. Is that enough? Okay, we will get one more. Yeah, we'll see if we can get two more. For now. Okay, and then the other thing that we're gonna do is the these things. Fresh water outlets. We're gonna try to get a flow of fresh water going back this way. So we're gonna just sparingly slash sparsely place these over here to try to get <laughs> this, I guess, poop lake uh, with some clean water and also some just uh, extra flow throughout it. So things like the uh, garbage slash whatever pickups actually work. Thing that I was thinking about that would be very interesting to see if City Skylines 2 has when it comes out is how many like pedestrian roads and stuff there's gonna be. I don't know why I was just thinking about that the other day. I'm like the pedestrian roads and all that stuff I think were more um, DLCs and stuff like that. Not like these pedestrian roads. I'm talking about like the smaller ones. Uh, but I, I'm very curious how much will be in the base game versus DLC because it, it, there's a lot of things that everyone honestly is used to so it will be just I, again I hope there's a decent amount in it I, I, I understand like DLC keeps like basically games running and stuff because you know if you buy the game once you can support it again by like buying a new brand new dlc kind of thing um but like a game like this that's been out for eight years a lot of the dlcs and things that they added are like everyone takes for granted or at least expects so and it'll be interesting to see what they actually end up deciding to add in the base game. Hello, Gloomy Raven. How are you? Welcome in. Uh, just expanding over here at the moment. I don't think we need any residential, but this is going to be residential. It says we need industry, but I've always decided to want to add more industry. We will continue our walkable, I guess. Did I do a different type of road freeze? I did. We'll continue our walkable industry over here and see if it works well. And if it does work well, I guess we'll just completely uh, switch over the industry from that to this. I think I did. No, I didn't do cobblestone, did I? No, I did do cobblestone. 
make that a grid. How far out did they go from here? It was 10 years? Okay, I guess that makes sense. Do I use high commercial? I am trying to do, which is a little bit different than I normally do. Uh, I'm trying to do a different type of like layout for the city where we kind of build up to higher density and then the outskirts are like lower density because it kind of looks good like over here. I'm going to go in cinematic mode so you ignore, ignore everyone complaining. But also, since we're trying to do a green city, which I might change this in the future because I don't think it's as necessary. Even the high density, uh, where is it? The high density looks very low. <laughs> this is technically high density right here. Um, but because we have like green policies and stuff like that on, uh, everything is like actually like very small buildings. So it doesn't even really look like it is high density commercial. Yes, we are using high density, um, which I'll probably end up doing some like high density out this way more once we actually get to the opportunity to build out that way. Yep, you are right, guys. You need water over here. I think the city is so laggy because we have just so many small people walking everywhere. Because when you when we zoom in on a fast speed, it does not like it. <laughs> We have 39,000 people that are walking. The city has actually gotten pretty big. What do you need? You need more entertainment. Interesting. You have four line roads and high commercials make this the roads blocked by cars, mega traffic. I mean, with it being pedestrian in this city, I mean, okay, well, we do have some some bad traffic. We were doing good with the traffic until the city like hit like I don't know like 30,000 probably because our traffic flow is 65% now but um, in the city obviously the traffic flow is great because there's no traffic but the few we've been trying some interesting solutions <laughs> I'll say at least to try to get the traffic figured out and not um Annoying, I guess. Like, there's a good and bad of only having like a few roads coming in and out. <laughs> Is you know where your problems are. Oh shit, you guys don't have water over here. Um. So yeah, I thought I told you to empty. So. I, I don't know what to do. I've tried some things to fix it with some of the, uh, <laughs> I don't know why there's so many cars backed up here. I'll have to change this interchange a little bit sometime. Anyways, we need more commercial, which I think what I'm going to do is actually, uh, kind of, a, eh, do I want to do that? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. It's in my own head right now. Uh, but what I am going to try to do, this might look fine. I want to continue this as a main road over this way. I'm going to come down to there. Have you come straight out? We will begin to make this be a little bit higher density commercial over here. Let me get some connections. We will do that as a connection too. And I want the trolley track to follow out this way. And get you coming. Okay, actually, I don't think we need to be that far. Actually, what I probably want to do is go to here, go to there. Yeah, 
that looks better. And we will continue you up this way. And we'll upgrade these roads. So there's at least three people over here. We're not gonna be putting any uh, stops yet, but. And we'll also de-downgrade this. Unless there's a stop here. I don't think there's a stop here. Wait. <laughs> what part? Okay. Got a little bit more of a loop now going that way, and we're going to get some higher density uh, commercial. We are going to do a little. Well, nah, we don't need to do a buffer. though just to actually be the higher density residential over this way at least okay now I need <laughs> you guys are still complaining about not enough players we will figure that out okay I promise you probably are complaining because ever, the population is so far away from you, technically. And I keep on forgetting to add more water for you guys. I swear I'm a good mayor, okay? Just because I neglect, neglect, you know, basic needs does not mean I'm a bad mayor. Again, I'm, I'm gonna regret doing this, but we'll add these here for now. How's the water cleanup going? Actually, not too bad. We get some more of the... These are expensive. <laughs> but hopefully these are creating enough flow of water. Garbage processing is actually pretty bad. I didn't realize that. But if we add some more water... Water, what am I saying? If I add at least two of these in the middle here. That might help a little bit more. But that's a lot of our money. Um, can you guys stop abandoning <laughs> buildings, please? We have people moving into the city, okay? What's our next goal also? We get another new area, which is good. We need to get to 48,000. focus him if we want to okay you are filled up I guess what I'll do since apparently our garbaging processing is bad do I need to make this like a roundabout over here this is probably one of the worst uh garbage facilities I've ever made. <laughs> um, well, I'm not going to change it right now, at least. Oh, these are just regular high density roads. Um, I'm going to get more connections rather than just the middle road over here, at least. And we're going to get... Couple more of you in here. Why are you not even? <laughs> Why is this place not even? What the? Fuck? Maybe we'll get some more incineration plants. I st still don't fully understand. I don't we've ever taken a loan, actually. Yeah, we'll do this. I still don't fully understand the garbage in this game. I always thought how it works, which I think is kind of how it works, is you have, um, obviously, your, okay, I'm going to actually change this so it actually goes out there, but I always thought how it was, is the incineration plants are where the garbage gets emptied to. Which that might be actually how it is. But a lot of times it just doesn't feel like it. 
It feels like sometimes they go all the way across the world to actually empty out their garbage, or does it go nowhere? So I, I, I am pretty lost on garbage management in this game because it, it used to always be like my downfall and the biggest problem that I would start having in my cities was just like garbage pile up and it's just not working. Um, with this loan we took out, we are going to get a couple more of the water purifiers. can't go willy willy nilly with those but that should be fine it's gonna be interesting trying to get some kind of like water flow into the middle of this area but i think it'll be fine it'll take a little while but once we actually move the sewage out of here it should be a lot a lot better okay what are you complaining about not enough buyers for products what do you mean? How is there not enough buyers? I guess we do need more commercial. The garbage is complaining and piling up over here. Uh, I guess it does maybe take a while to get to that area. We will have another connection, I think, up here of like an actual road road. But I guess we'll get some more high density commercial in. out uh, a little bit this way. We'll say 12 units. Or maybe we won't actually do it straight there where you will start curving it. I'm just going to do this because I feel like it's easier to make. need like okay this honestly might be beneficial i'm going to give you guys your own little express highway into the city also national road what is this road I think that is a highway but we're gonna have a bridge over here if I'll be able to make this work. Can I do a little bit of that? Okay, I can get... Okay, this will work. I just need to... now okay, okay we can go straight so we're gonna bridge back up get another turn and bridge down Honest, I'm going to try to get the connection right here. Okay, we'll see if that at least gets the garbage peeps, peeps faster into the city so they can bypass all this traffic here. 
Yeah, some of them are already deciding to use that road. That should be hella useful. However, why are there... Okay. There's not supposed to be any, like, commercial goods traffic on this road. But that's fine. These guys are probably still all lost. Holy... The Q... <laughs> Interesting. We are getting you backed up now. I think that'll be fine. Okay, we'll see what that does. That may or may not help our problem. Also, I don't know why you are having garbage problems. Uh, okay, what is it? Pedestrian zone. Do we have a high capacity garbage for this place? Not. Hello, Mr. J Jumanji. I am Mr. Mayor. How are you, man? Welcome in. Uh... Placed by a road. Got it. Well, let me. We're gonna just move it for a second. We're gonna move these out of here. Okay. And we're gonna back this road up a bit so I can get a higher capacity garbage. This is garbage. What is you? Okay. Get rid of you. Let's get our one way roads again. I think they're just regular one way roads. We can come out to here. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, that's not fine. I want it to line up with this. do before I forget is say no parking. Ditches love to park. I think that'll be enough. We then throw in what is this? Bus station. We can throw in this. Dude. The garbage right there. I believe this is a four lane highway. Or national highway, I guess is what it's called. Move back this, even though I've learned that apparently we don't actually need that. We can get the post office right across the street from that too now. Excuse me. garbage service point. But I just got you a garbage service point. Liars? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Take it back. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, it still doesn't reach that well. A lot of the city doesn't reach that well, I am realizing. Uh, this will be figured out once I get, like, over here more. But I think it needs to be figured out, unfortunately, right now. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a quick fix for this that I'll probably remember to take away. But we're going to do something like that. small one at least on this side. Thank 
guess. Okay, we do need to connect. Because I don't think we actually need to connect anymore, but. Uh, we'll just connect this way. This road is off by a degree. It's fine. Again, this is a. You're talking about this one. It's just going to be temporary because I need a garbage service point over here. And we'll be making an actual one over here eventually. So, yes, I'm sorry. It's not perfect. Good catch, though. I didn't catch that. Oh, we're actually in the negative right now. What's our budget for things? Okay, we can bring our power budget down a lot, I think. I think we're fine. I mean, we're not exactly fine, but... Alright. Maybe it was a bad idea to buy all those loans. Anyways, everyone loves more taxes, right? Just a slight tax increase. For a little bit. You guys won't complain, right? We're homies. Just because you have to pay me a little bit more money to live in this green utopia that we've been making here. Right, guys? <laughs> Everything's complaining. And I don't actually understand why. Uh, okay. This was supposed to be a commercial zone, I think, over here that we were building out. Yeah. So, we will continue building out over this way. And maybe more people will stop complaining if I continue building over this way. go out a decent way over here. And I guess I can get the connection over here that I want to do too. Okay, you guys are complaining about taxes. I also understand I'm making BOGO bucks now. We will lower the residential tax at least because I think everyone else might be a little bit more lenient. Okay, we'll also lower the... Fine, I'll lower your guys' taxes too. I just think put us back to how much money we're making for. We're out of the negative for now, okay? Here we have just a bunch of boncho trees. Can I continue this underneath the bridge? I can. Unmini, hello. The city's going pretty good. Don't look over there. Uh, the city's going pretty great. <laughs> um, nobody's complaining at all. But no, honestly, it's gone. It's been doing pretty good. Haven't had any complications really. Other than we're technically losing money right now, so ignore that also. <laughs> Everything's grid! <laughs> Thanks for asking. At least you don't see this all the time. over here. Kill control should snap every five degrees so you don't get those weird numbers. I didn't know that was a thing. I will try to remember that. Not enough buyers for products. Well, unfortunately, nobody wants to move into the gosh darn city, so. And apparently, diggies don't have enough. Okay. We need, like, hella commercial, apparently. Which we also have commercial area that we've been building out this way. I kind of hate <laughs> how I've been doing commercial in this save. But it's also like, I don't know, with it being a walkable city, I feel like it's not that bad of having like huge commercial districts. Okay, no, I need to zone more, don't I? Well, I guess I can zone over here if I want to. Okay, thanks for lurking, man. And, or just thanks for lurking and checking out the stream. I appreciate it. I 
Also, I have no idea if my uh, lurk command actually works. I don't know if like in other people's... Um, in other people's chats, if they have like a bot that actually does a lurk, but I tried searching up like lurk bots essentially. Um, and couldn't find anything that actually does anything. So all I have is literally not Nightbot saying like, yo, thanks for the lurk. <laughs> I don't know again if that's the proper way that they're supposed to work. Okay, might. This is a weird place to get a connection because of this curve over here. such a high demand for her. I'm assuming it's not offices. These are offices that are complaining. The offices are complaining about not enough. Um, not enough people living, but we don't have any one for people. So, how do, how, 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 how do, how do fix? Attacked by my no my notifications again. That's I always do. Okay. Also, I think I'm building this wrong because there is a interchange idea that I had that I don't know if it'll work or be better. Um, but I do want to get that figured out. Also, do we have death care over here? Oh yeah, we do have a cemetery literally like right in the middle over there. All right. That's how you most have seen do lurk. Okay. I, I just like, I assume that it did something special or different, like, uh, but if it, that's how it works, I guess that's how it works. Okay. Um, what I want to do is theoretically, everyone coming into the city obviously will be going this way. So that means we want to have like this row instead of being on uh basically okay <laughs> i don't know how to actually explain this i'm just gonna do it so i want to like have i can essentially two roads like this Okay, I'm gonna have to rework this bridge. Okay, we're gonna go out a little bit further with the bridge. Go to there. Okay, so. <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Uh, but I've had this idea in my head for an interchange. What the fuck am I doing? There we go. Had this idea for her, an interchange. Uh, just gonna turn off snapping. That, you know, you obviously don't want lanes to cross over or whatnot. I don't even know if this is like the best place to like, technically test it. So, we have this stain on one side, and then, also this might, wait, what does shift do? Uh, kind of meters control, this is the angle, does alt do anything? <laughs> Diego, welcome back. More chaos? <laughs> you want to take a break from the chaos? Okay. 
guess I'll turn off snap twos. Because this is a three lane road, I'm just gonna make these two lane and see if it works still. Alright, so I don't know if this is like a tested and like workable interchange that a lot of people use, but theoretically, you know, there's no crossover with the traffic uh, going this way at least out of the city. It should just be straight and then straight. In and out. Um, I wonder if I can. I don't know. We're gonna move this back a little bit though. And we're gonna get this a little bit more turned. Curved. We're making this all wibbly wobbly for some reason. Take you out a little bit more so you look a little bit more straight. Bring you over. Like that. Around you a bit more. Other than it looking kind of weird and lumpy at that one point, I think it'll be fine. That's how it's going to be going in. This side should be pretty easy for connection. The only thing bad about this, obviously, is that if we want to go straight, which I don't know when or if we will, we can't, but I don't know. An interchange like this has been in my head for a little bit. <laughs> been brainstorming it. And again, it might be like a regular interchange that is used. I just have not seen it in videos <laughs> yet. Um, we'll get that. And then this should be just pretty easy. Really. Do that. And then we'll get a little bit longer on ramp. If I have to adjust it, I'll adjust it. And turn this off. Try our best. To get this. You know, to be honest, the straight connection. That should be fine. Very short on ramp, but I think that will be fine. Watch, nobody will even use this side. <laughs> they probably won't because if they're coming from this way. Man, I'm not going to really even be able to test my experiment. I should crisscross this area for no reason on the highway just so I can actually see if this works that well. I think it would. Because there's no traffic signals that's needed, at least on this side. No matter what, I at least like how it looks. You guys probably want your own personal cemetery out here. When I think about it, we will get you one. Live on the farm, die on the farm. <laughs> That's how we work. Okay. You guys are complaining about not enough buyers for products, which is not enough commercial place. And then you guys you got a cemetery, but you guys are complaining about amount of buyers, which I think is still commercial. I think we still just need a lot of commercial 
So I probably over factoritized this area. But also then we have a high demand for I don't understand this game sometimes. Um I guess what we'll do is try to satiate uh this. So I'm going to zone this area over here and we're going to get a forestry industry. But it's going to be just like the base game forestry industry. I am still, since I'm new, I'm slightly confused exactly how the forestry industry works. Or sorry, just industry DLC in general works. Because I would assume this makes the products and the same things that technically base game like uh, farming industry would make but I don't think it does <laughs> I'm like hella confused on on that aspect I guess like I don't know if you're supposed to have a mixture of like both industry essentially or like so basically a mixture of the industry's DLC and the regular DLC or the regular industry. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. But just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna do regular industry. And again, I know I'm not uh, not making this walkable uh, <laughs> and it's gonna be like all driving because it's just the industry part I just I feel like it makes no sense if it's not on roads even though I know this is a challenge but it just in my head it's like it doesn't make sense Is that not the type of industry that it wants? Okay, now we're getting something popping in. Those are burnt down, but we don't have any kind of disaster uh, relief. You know what? I guess I don't need to have the garbage thing over here anymore. I completely forgot I was even working on that, to be honest. <laughs> people using this road okay well I mean I, I guess it works when there's two cars um, you're getting high cargo you're also getting high cargo okay never mind you were fine now of course it's just a little bit short Okay, we'll also get a little bit more industry out here. Okay, some of these things are going to be temporary. I'm going to try to make um, as much of it walkable and green as possible. But to achieve that, sometimes you need to... Um, some roads okay we now have more commercial need yet again um, which I don't want this whole area over here to be commercial I do think I'm gonna make this like we'll have like another small block of I'll at least get the layout for it but we will have another small block of offices that's what we're looking for. Um, which I'm going to what, six units. Yeah. I'm gonna do this and try to at least mimic what we have over here. Nine units. Twenty-six. Help. We'll do 10, 24, 10. That's what I'll do. So 
Yeah, we'll do 10. That's 10. Okay, that's not 10. You're 10. Eventually, but I just wanted to get it planned out. So I know that it, that's what I want. But we currently just want this to be commercial. And this will be commercial. Okay, water is everything doing fine. Doing decent electricity. How's the cleanup in the lake going? Pretty decent, actually. Like we're making some good progress. Once we can actually buy out of here and like go this way more, we will be able to maybe make more flow of water on this side. And I might downgrade some of these over here so I can place uh, outlets just for a little bit. So yeah, I think the next one we buy might be right here because we might be able to get access to the water. To be honest, I want to eventually have the uh, waste management and the water all the way over there, but it's going to be a little while. Do we not have city services over here? Oh shit. I guess we don't all the way over here. We will get the little city services hub going on then. things I think I can I don't know I was I don't know why not small park right here then we'll get some which I think we have the money we'll get the high capacity fire here we might not actually have the money <laughs> Look at that, we got the money for at least some of it. I need you. You're so small. You're so small and tiny. Let me see if... The only thing, like, the, the biggest problem with this is there's no flow in the middle of the lake. So it's not, like, filtering through them, essentially. But I'll see if this lets us clean other areas. Or it might just visually move them. But yeah, I can use move it, but I don't know if it'll actually move the benefits. <laughs> We'll have to see. Get another like dog park or something. Get a small playground and a dog park. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get move this to be on the side too. We might put a school and everything down here. 
because I will be putting some residential down this way. Okay, hopefully this is putting some less traffic and stress on this side, but we'll see. How is our traffic doing? 68%? That's actually not too shabby. Considering again, we only have like, we technically only have like one big road that makes it like a U. <laughs> I, well, well, not actually, actually, because we obviously have the industry roads and whatnot. Okay, maybe this doesn't work. Yeah, maybe industry and pedestrians do not work. Because I'm assuming what's happening here is that they're not leaving. Uh, if you know what I mean. Because this is the goods building or whatever right here. And I only see people coming, but I never see people leaving. So I might be wrecked. I might be right with my assumption that the factory doesn't really work in pedestrian. Maybe it does, but you need to have the pedestrian area like connected to. Um. Here, why are we getting like regular traffic in here? So is there something I can do to make this like work better, flow better? Probably is, but I don't know if I want to do that right now. Dude, why do we have so much demand for commercial and stuff? Okay, we are going to try to do offices down here. That will hopefully satiate some of the industry demand. want residential demand. Gosh darn it. Oh, I did the offices weird over here. I didn't realize that. I'll make them kind of weird over here too. Not the same exact on both sides, but we also don't have the same exact like length on both sides, unfortunately. Again, if it's not symmetrical, sorry. <laughs> it's a walkable city, so having just like alleyways and places to walk anywhere kind of what I want to do. And I said there was gonna, uh, this is probably not gonna fit here with the hospital and stuff. But we'll wait to fill that in a little bit later. Bro, our commercial demand goes burr. Hell. close though to 48,000 I do remember someone saying that like there is like a cap for the amount of people that can live in like a fully pedestrian city I don't know if we've reached that because I think like the game can't simulate all the people or something I forget the reasoning behind it there's something like that This I do think is working a lot better now that uh, I fixed it. And I'm gonna get some more roads over here. Be 
building this out next rather than getting more offices because I think the offices are kind of wonkiness. Or at least not working right now. <laughs> Honestly, we should get like a connection. Like here. I wonder if this might take a lot of stress off this intersection. I hope. A lot of cars despawning. You know, you guys, you're supposed to turn in that way. Wow, the traffic, you love it. Yeah, the the problem is, is we have the cargo train terminal over here, so we have a lot of traffic flowing back and forth here. Nobody's turning this way, though. They might be trying to get to the... Okay, one thing I need to do too is speed. Yeah, this can be 90. So we're gonna do this be 100. I don't know if I want to, okay, what does the whole road technically entail? We'll do the whole road. 100, 100. 100. Okay. Hopefully that will like move some of the traffic going this way now instead of going that way if they're trying to get to the um cuz I'm assuming they're trying to get to the highway and in this game the traffic always goes the fastest route by speed and distance essentially. So, I think everyone's going this way. Uh, because they're trying to get to the um, highway faster. Dude, oh, I don't understand why our commercial and industry is like just wild right now. The demand. This should make you happy. Yeah, we have a cargo and pedestrian train over here. Over there. Which I flirted with putting a cargo train also over here at one point, but that didn't seem to fix it, at least at the time. But yeah, we have a cargo train and a uh, pedestrian train over here. So yeah, everyone and their mother wants to go this way. something we get asymmetrical road here I think Specifically right here, this is a turn only. Then you guys can go left or right here. And we're gonna make this so hopefully they start queuing up. Put their back here. Some 
sometimes messing with this doesn't work. It makes things worse sometimes. might have helped a little bit because we don't have a backup of traffic over here anymore. But we are getting a lot of traffic over here now. <laughs> kind of cleaning things up. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Where's the other one? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Okay, so they don't really work with Move It, technically. Or they do some weird stuff with Move It. That was interesting. guys going? You, what is your path? I need to grab one of you. Please, I want to I know what your path is. Wait, what? Can I not? Oh, I have move it, that's why. You're going to the Museum of Postmodern Art. Where are you going? Where are you walking to? Uh, I don't have bike paths. Bike path is like nightlife or something like that. I don't have the DLC, unfortunately, for that. Otherwise, I would. But I don't know why there's so many people walking over here. And specifically on this road. Like, what? I know, I guess people work here, but you can still have your own cars to drive here. Okay, you're walking to there. Get on this. Which can theoretically take you all the way over to there. I guess, I guess if you use, okay. Maybe we need like a bus system. <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna get like a bus system. Do we get a bus system? I'm gonna get a bus system so I don't have <laughs> so many people walking in the field essentially. We are going to get a bus. Um, a biofuel bus? Please. Get you right here. We're gonna have yes. We'll have a stop right here that can take people, I guess, to. Say here, 
here and to here. Okay, I'll come back. Maybe that will make it so there's not <laughs> all these people walking. They have public transport, which is free, by the way. Underground pass. I mean, I, I guess I could do like underground pass, but I, I know obviously a fully walkable city is not necessarily. Uh, realistic fully but I'm trying to do at least some more realistic type things starting to get a little bit more demand for residential. I felt like it took forever. What are we doing on water? Power? I'm going to power also. We have such a demand for commercial. Like I, I just feel like it's just a disproportionate demand. <laughs> Yeah, I think having the bikes DLC, whatever, whichever that one is, holy free, holy the amount of people. <laughs> that is wild. from the high density residential over here. I don't have a trolley over to this yet, so what we'll do, because you can't make bridges, unfortunately. At least with like these type of trolley things. So what we're gonna do is here Trolley Road. That. Then we 
and start to get a system out here. Honestly, I'm going to turn this main strip here, I think. Not what I want to do to those, but thank you, game. upgrade it, but if you rebuild it, it'll work for whatever reason. Okay, let's get a... We'll make a stop here. Here. Stop here. We'll, I guess we'll also stop here. We'll loop back. Stop here. Stop there. Stop there. And hopefully that will <laughs> um, make it not awful. Makes starting to look pretty okay, at least compared to what it used to. Still have a shit ton of traffic over here. And the traffic going this way is back again. I love that. Again, the good and bad thing about having like minimal minimal roads for cars is for the roads that do need cars, they get way overwhelmed. Because they only have a few roads to choose by. Yeah, you guys are just happy something different worked out. for a second. You're just playing with me. Fine. Uh, didn't want to have to, but I guess I will. So this has grass on it. I didn't mean to put the grass one. area built or bought today on the stream. Okay. I guess we'll do some more office.
more cars because there's limited access by foot. Well, I mean, the point is, is that, which I know in this game, it's free though. I have the whole city have free transportation. But the whole point is we do have public transport for it. Honestly, most of the traffic we legitimately actually have, I'm pretty sure is just the goods. You know, the goods. You got the goods. I don't think it's really that much pedestrian traffic, really. Okay, I guess it is a decent amount of pedestrian traffic over here. Okay. I might have lied. Chat, I'm gonna be a liar. <laughs> but yeah, our, our biggest traffic problem is literally just the, uh... Mostly the industrial goods part. This almost needs to be like a highway interchange, <laughs> to be honest. Is there still a bunch of people walking over here? No. Just a few. Are people actually using this bus stop now? Yeah! Okay, so the bus stop was a good idea. 78 pastors, which isn't much, but it seems to be making people not make a freaking three-mile trek through the, <laughs> the fields over here. They have options now. I guess that bus stop is slowing down traffic, though. That's not something I thought of. We might move this... Or do we make our own little separate place? What yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe we do something like that. And we'll upgrade this road. And then I'll move the traffic or the bus stop to be over there. Yes. So, please. Wait, what? Oh, this is tram. I'm so dumb. Bus. There we go. I want to move you to there. So at least when you stop, you're not stopping on the road. Do you have to see private vehicles? traffic routes. Are we still just selected on a singular person? Maybe we are. Oh yeah, click the road, sorry. Yeah, I hardly ever use it. So here we're going to do specifically pedestrians and private vehicles. <laughs> Which I mean, it's a lot. Let's do trucks. Transport and these services. Again, not exactly sure what I am going to do to fix any of this. Or if I will fix any of this. I will say, I am still just like confused. Unless, like, maybe the uh, off type of office buildings I'm doing is making just a shit ton of goods. <laughs> so it's like, we need more commercial. That's not like. So I know these are no longer tree rows, but I don't want to have tree roads 
ever here. of the rest over here I do want to be like some high density uh, residential buildings speaking of high density residential getting close to over here but maybe that'll be fine you know a little sound doesn't hurt anybody right okay a little sound might hurt some people but we'll see maybe i'll do like just this much so i don't get just a bunch of people complaining about sound over there but we're so close to the threshold so i want to at least get those in We'll make more forest industry because I don't want to make more other industry. You never know the best way to design zones effectively. I mean, the the surefire way I feel like that works really good for a regular city that's not like a city like this, which is kind of like all fucked up and like kind of annoying to deal with trying to do the pedestrian thing. I always feel like having a big centralized area for your industry is good. And then having your cargo trains and whatever that can connect throughout the city is also great. Um, we're also going to get some more just regular industry over here. Um, then, for zoning, you always want to have... Uh, you want to have... I kind of am doing it over here. Your main streets... You want to have your commercial because those are busy streets and easy access for your industry to get there and then have your um your you know homes and residential off the beaten path because not everyone's going to your home only the people that live there and friends are going to your home so you don't need them to be on like you know main drags but everyone's going to commercial zones and stuff, so you want them to be in like bigger hub areas or on the main roads because it, uh, you need your cargo traffic to get there, you need your pedestrians to get there, so it needs to be on easy access roads. If that's what you mean by like, you don't know how to zone, design zones effectively. That's how it should be work blocked out. What I'm doing over here with the commercial is very, very dumb, but like, <laughs> I also like don't know where to expand the city and just have such a high ass demand for commercial for whatever reason. There's a bunch of things in this city too because like I'm trying to make it fully green. I'm trying to do this, trying to do that. This city is just probably so messed up uh, with what it needs and what it thinks it needs. At least that's what I understand from the people I watch and from how I play this game. Like your industry, you wanna have like maybe on both sides of your city eventually. You can kind of get like influx from both sides. So it's not all coming from one very compact area, which is like again, why the traffic has got awful over here is that we have one singular area where all the industry is. So 
maybe down the line I'll get like industrial area over here maybe um, but I'm not sure uh, maybe we, we will get that guys your own um I think. Okay, why do you gotta be special and like be oriented a different way? How far over can we get you? Okay. How far over can we get you? There. And we'll get you water. yet so we will move you over here then we should hit our next milestone pretty pretty fast and to be honest once we hit this milestone just gonna buy this test out the cable car thing <laughs> that might be the end, of, the end of the stream once I actually get that built up there. Yay! Okay, what else do we... Ocean thermal energy, I don't know if we actually have ocean. Harbor bus hub. Harbor bus hub. Harbor, wait a second, monorail you say? What the fuck is this? Wait, what? Oh. Harbor Ferry Hub? Wait, these things exist? Wait, what is this? Okay, I didn't know these existed. And I really badly need this and want this in my other city now. Bus hub, dude. Monorail train hub. Metro monorail train. What the hell? With roads? How come nobody? How what's up? Nobody told me about this. Nobody told me about these. Monorail hubs. So we have Harbor Bus Monorail. That's really good. Monorail Bus. Monorail Tram. Wait a second. Monorail Tram? Hold up. You're kidding me. Wait a second. All of these can probably be replaced with that. Uh, we, we would need a turnaround though for the tram. I guess. We could probably do there, okay. What is this? Metro monorail train. 
I don't want to plop that because that's pretty expensive. Metro train, monorail train hub with roads. So this thing literally connects every single... Okay. Interesting. I wish I knew that. Um, unfortunately, that does not get us to the river. Which sucks. And it doesn't even buy us all that I wanted to buy. But... I think it'd be really cool and neat just to add some uh, deviation. Is if we get this. It goes up here. here for now. <laughs> um, this. So we're going to be doing that eventually. Um, we do have a lot more demand residential. We're going to out this way. Also just realized I don't have road guidelines on. Great, well I didn't just realize, I'll say. At least I know it's been off for a while, but just didn't uh, bother with turning it on. I want to, like, right here, which I guess it's hillier than I I thought it'd be really cool to do like a theme park here, but the problem with doing parks, uh, sorry, amusement park, is like over here, unless there's a way for me to hack it, essentially, you need to have roads connected to the main gates. You can't have pedestrian roads, unfortunately. So if we want to do any kind of park, we need to have an actual road up to it, uh, which is annoying for what we're doing. Also, that's probably... I'm, <laughs> given I need to remember I don't have, like, a bunch of money to spare. <laughs> like I do in my other saves. And I need to not just, like, buy things willy-nilly. Uh... Also, I need to expand the city down this way a bit more. Kind of just, like, stopped and didn't. empty very fast now. This system that I have going on over here is actually very efficient now, which is really nice. I need to check a few things real quick. around this industry over here to be honest I want like 
I want it to be green, obviously, so we don't want to be making it a bunch of pollution and stuff. Um, I don't think the city can just run off of having just wood industry. I think. Like farm and wood, or forestry, I guess is the proper term. Uh, probably be the best to have if I can only have that. But I think you need regular industry. I think. Don't remember. Speaking of which, how much money are we making from this? Only 5,000? I'm gonna just get, put all the policies on for you. It costs us more money, but we'll see how that goes. Makes it looking a little bit better still. We still have a demand for residential, so we're just gonna do one more block out this way. Again. Or maybe not be an idiot and actually fully fill in all the zoning areas. We're gonna get rid of you. Gonna get you back again. Get rid of you. Move out. Get out of here. Make room for bigger housing. There's a lot of places I want to work on and like you work with. What do you think? What I'm gonna do? Go options. Turn back on day night cycle. Um, and just do first get you guys water because uh, I was on that again. Best mayor was not forgetting about your water. I swear to God. Uh, but we're gonna let this run a little bit so we can kind of see how the city has expanded out with uh, the lights on and I think we're gonna call it for today these streams are always a little bit smaller um, again I'm so you're not watching the other streams or whatever. Um, I am starting to try to make my streams shorter, two to three hours, just so like I'm not just sitting down for so long and also have free time to do other things <laughs> um, when I can. So, uh, yeah. But I think for for this specific city, it seems like two to three hours has been like a pretty good like amount of things getting done <laughs> in the time that we've been doing. Because we, let's see, we we had a lot of infrastructure, a lot of road and stuff like that. That seems to put the pressure off a bit. We added that new interchange over in the top right of the screen. We added on a lot of commercial. Started a forestry industry, which looks like keeps on getting on fire. Because I think there's a fire going right now. <laughs> um, added a new bus route. Uh, I have we clean, started to clean up the lake a decent amount. Add in a lot of commercial, like I already said that, and slowly expanding our residential right now. Um, but honestly, like, I think it's it's looking pretty good. It's looking really nice. Um, it doesn't look like jank. The only thing that is jank is like the traffic because, <laughs> again, we only have a few ways in and out of the city. Uh, the further and further and bigger the city gets, uh, two things will happen. We will be getting like periodically you know, uh, new entrances every like few areas. Um, so that will reduce the traffic a little bit more when there's uh, more uh, ways to actually get in the city rather than at the moment we only have two um, entrances essentially. Um, and also, again, I saw this on 
Reddit in the City Skylines subreddit on a post that I saw. Supposedly, there can only ever be 65,000 uh, units or agents, I think is what they're called, which are the people in game spawned at once. So once you get to 65,000 population will be when your city and everything will be at like the highest stress level uh, of the amount of traffic and everything that is able to be spawned. And hopefully around that point, um, the higher and higher you get, technically speaking, your city will expand more and more but still have the same amount of traffic. So the traffic should also get itself fixed ever so slightly uh, the further we get more uh, bigger in the city. But I think it looks pretty. And it's, it's mostly a grid throughout the city, but it looks nice. The park, I think, looks nice. A little bit of a different uh, look of it. And even though it is a grid, it isn't like just like... Everywhere is not a straight up grid. There's a little bit of variety and angles and stuff thrown in there. At night, the lake almost looks completely clean. <laughs> almost. Other than a few things. Apparently, there's a fire or. No. They're just. They can't get to it. I'm not gonna zoom in there. The traffic's fine. Everything's fine. The farther I, I zoom out, there's no traffic. It's nice. <laughs> um yeah that will be it for this stream um so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys spending some time with me and chilling out with me um again i do the city every single uh wednesday at noon uh easter standard time if you guys want to pop in and watch it uh this will be when i'm always live with this city specifically and we're gonna be going for a while the goal with all the cities I'm doing, which again, I don't know if I can actually make it to with a pedestrian city, but I want to get at least to 100,000. To me, at least doing this challenge, if I can get to 100,000 um, civilians is basically winning <laughs> in the challenge. So that's the goal uh, with Los Sandar. Um, we're at 50,000, so we're halfway there right now. So double from what the city is now, roughly, <laughs> uh, size wise, will be. Well, and I consider this at least finished and done. We still will probably still play this safe and whatnot. Again, if you do like City Skylines too, we are. I have been building another city called New Westwood, which is like just a nice regular city that I've been working really hard on. Um, that is every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys want to catch that, Again, it, and if you can't catch any of the live streams, that's fine. I just come here when you can. But I also do have a YouTube VOD channel. If you want to check out the YouTube VOD channel and you will have the backlog of all of these streams and be able to watch anything that you missed there uh, if you want to. But as always, you've been you. I've been me. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will be live later tonight with some Space Engineers at 9 p.m. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go work out, probably. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Bye, chat. Have a, have a nice day, chat. Possibly see you later, chat. Um, goodbye. I, this is always awkward to end stream because I have to reach across. Anyways, bye-bye, chat.